history of Thorn Island by talking to Mike Connor. But before I go over there and see how things are progressing, I thought I'd meet up with the previous owner of the island. Hey, Simon Adam. Go for a walk and we'll take Simon Pearson inherited the island and its port from his father in 1976, when it was a hotel. He now owns the Old Point House pub, built over 500 years ago, and less than two miles from his former home. Thorn Island was owned by Simon's family from 1947 until he sold it in 1989. Was it your grandfather who first bought and owned the island? Yes. And bought it for 95 quid. You bought it for 95 pounds? Yes. It's a lot of money in them days. Well, it was the price of a house, anyway. So what's your earliest memory of the place? I used to always spend my holidays down here on the island. Mm -hmm. All I ever wanted to do through school and college was, was to come back down here and run the island with my father, really. Really? So how successful was Thorn Island as a hotel? Financially, it was a disaster. It's never going to make money, so it's, it's a place to enjoy with family and friends, really. Do you miss the island? Oh, yes. I mean, when I first sold it, it was uh, very difficult, but now I just have a lot of happy memories. Mm -hmm. Today, looking to make happy memories of his own, Mike Connor is continuing the renovation work on the island he bought nine months ago. Since I last saw him, it looks like progress has been slow. Oh, well, things have changed since I was last year. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Bit of a mess. Uh, it, it is. Is it, it a is. case of things have to get worse before they get better? We've got to dig a hole in solid rock to drop a water purification unit in there. That's two man weeks of just smashing away. And you can see it's pretty hard rock. It comes away in little flakes. And this over here, that's mostly waste waiting to be helicoptered off. So the logistics of everything like that is so expensive, eh? Uh, it's a nightmare. Since my last visit, Mike's barely made a dent in the renovation of Thorn Island. But he's pragmatic about the time it'll take. You're not in control of anything here. You know, you're not in control of the weather, the swell, uh, getting uh, uh, helicopters. It's going to be a series of small, very satisfying victories because every battle is pretty hard fought, you know, and that hole is a good example of just how hard everything is here. It is hard, but if restoring your own island fortress was easy, I'm sure we'd all be doing it. Look at that. Mike must look at this place and just pinch himself. It's awesome, it's epic. You know what they say, a man's home is his castle. And for Mike Connor, it really is. So much to do out there. Sailing, fishing, scuba diving, just looking at the wildlife. Just sitting on the steps and just watching the world go by. And every day, the view will be different. 